Hey, it's Necti. Welcome to episode 73 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're going to take a Cat D6 Dozer to Coos Bay, Oregon. Let's get into it. I should have probably looked at the map prior to selecting this because for those that watched yesterday's episode, there was a load going to Salem. And now that I'm looking at this, we are here down at the Rustic and we need to go over here. I really kind of wanted to come across 58, I-5 South, and then down around here and up there, but it's going to take longer than it needs to. And the only reason I would do that is so I don't discover Newport. And if you're new here, there's nothing wrong with discovering it, but I have to take a load out of or deliver to in order for that to actually be crossed off my list. So it's just a mental thing that if I discover it and it shows up as discovered, I just need to remember that I actually have to pick up or deliver there yet. Who knows though, maybe when we get to Coos Bay, there's a load that's going up to Newport. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come out of Rustic, basically backtrack to 97 North, and then stay to the right here, I believe, I think. Basically staying straight on 97 North. We're going to take the US 20 West exit, and then it's US 20 West all the way over to PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, US 101, and then we're going to take that south. And this is why we're going to discover Newport, because we're actually going straight through the city. So take this all the way down here. And then in Coos Bay, I wrote down after the fuel stop on right, it's going to be the fifth right. One, two, three, four, five. Or straight across from the Walmart. It's like a big-ass distribution center. Either way, we should be able to see it, because if we miss that one, there's this one. Same difference. All right, let's get into it. I don't need another hour-long episode. For those that weren't here yesterday, there's the load info. 52,452. Reset that. There we go. Reset the odometer. So update, basically 24 hours so far of having fast wire fiber. Uh, a fairly certain Monday I'm going to disconnect the Spectrum modem and uh, head to the Spectrum office in town and say, uh, kindly cancel our shit. So episode 72, after the file was edited and rendered, it was 10 gigs. And when I went to upload it to YouTube, for those that know, and when you upload a video, then it asks you to, you know, title, description, all that crap. Well, by the time I did my, my stuff that I, I normally do, upload thumbnail, you know, put in the date to schedule time, all that stuff. By the time I got all that done, the video was 85 or 90 percent uploaded. I literally uploaded a 10 gig video in under three minutes, basically. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan at this point. And since we just paid our Spectrum bill, the sooner we cancel that, the less they prorate shit for us. So, part of me wants to wait the full 30 days, but then we're just getting billed another $193 for a service that we didn't even use, you know what I mean? And the little, the fiber modem is a tiny little guy. Uh, if you have an Apple TV, it's about like that size is what it is. So 
so I need to tidy everything up where I ran that down the wall because you can actually mount that to the wall so I'm going to do that down behind the entertainment center and get all that crap out of the way this weekend probably but yeah it's really odd how we didn't have our only choice in town was basically Spectrum maybe we had AT&T I don't know but I know when we moved here, it was just Spectrum. And and now this spring, two fiber, two separate fiber companies came and I basically wired our whole city. And the other, the other odd part is, I ha we haven't even seen anybody from the other company. So I wonder if they're gonna end up coming around and then Nobody wants their service because they already got fastware or something. I have no idea. Other than that, just before I sat down to record, there was a, an update to this Rogers trailer. He added three more cargos. Added another set of default light locations went over all of the cargos to re-optimize and all of that sort of thing and now he's done for now I need to take this left I say he's done for now um, he's going back to revisit the Wade step deck to get that ready for a release and then once he's done with that then he's going to come back to this and start working on more cargos. I have no idea why I'm turning my blinker on. It's not like anybody's out here. Should have probably not been in four high. There we go. Yeah, other than that, I updated some mods today. Uh, Jazzy Cats AI traffic pack had an update. His painted truck traffic pack had an update, so I updated those. I uh, tweaked the settings for this realistic truck physics mod, and I, I'm pretty sure I have it damn close. I know for sure I have it damn close for newer trucks. And since this is technically a 389X, that's a brand new truck, so one would assume that it has all the fancy stability bullshit and all the, you know, all the safety crap on it. So that's kind of how I have it set up. I mean, you can get it out of shape if you want, but you need to be going about 80 miles an hour and, and really yanking on the wheel. Now, so for truck, with this mod, I have my truck stability set at like 75, which seems real for me. And then This was going to happen. I'm going to need to pop out so I can take a better. Are, are we done spawning down there now, game? We're going to restart over here? No? Okay, good. I knew I, knew I shouldn't have started turning in that freaking view. Do that shit every time you would think I'd remember, but nope. Yeah, and then I have the trailer stability at 50. And I was talking to Seawaf 89 in the Discord. And like I told him, I mean, technically. You would adjust the stability for every load you have, kind of. Because depending on if you're running empty versus having this on it versus having like a container, it's the trailer's gonna behave very differently. So I just left it at 50%. That'll be a nice happy, oh, I guess it's seven o'clock at night. I forgot I probably should have slept before I took this load, but I'll do it after we unload. 
somebody remind me. So yeah, bottom line is I think I have all that squared away. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get every one of the current Rogers loads done or a video with, you know, showing you guys each one of those loads. And then when I do that, because I was going through my mods and I realized that I have about 10 or 15 machinery mods like combines, tractors, John Deere case, Challenger, those off of steam. And I never haul them. They don't even come up. You know why? Because my dumb ass doesn't pull default trailers. I'm always using a modded one that I bought. So that said, and I don't know why I haven't thought about this before, but I'm going to, once I run every load or we'll see how it goes on the Rogers currently, I'm just going to buy me a base game low boy and start running those cargos because it also hit me that 20 west one mile it also hit me that that not everybody watching these videos has the ability to buy everything that they see me using Or even if they do, maybe they don't want to, right? So, I mean, part of me playing this game and, and doing this is just showing people different shit you can do, right? And the base game low boy is not bad. Well, it's not bad. Uh, I'll say that. I have the Jasper wheel pack as well, which I think is like six or eight dollars. So that spices, you know, spruces it up because then I can put the Peterbilt wheels on it and everything. But I mean, that said, it just all depends on how the hell you want to play the game. It's a nice little sunset, huh? I got to tell you, I am a big and speaking of mods right now. And, and I don't care if somebody wants to, whatever they want to do, fight me in the comments. Bring it. This free Weather 2.7 AK, way better than JBX in my mind. I don't care what anybody says. And I have JBX too that I paid $35 for. I am here to tell you that JBX is a waste of money. Plain and simple. PNG could be a waste of money as well. I have that in here right now, just the base file, not the weather because I'm running the weather 2.7 8K, which is free off Steam or it's in the SCS forums as well. But it's free and, and you're seeing what that does, right? Now I will say the PNG is $14 but that also does a lot with road textures because he has that file now baked into it but honestly for me JBX was a waste of money and somebody's going to be like oh well you need to get JBX3 bullshit I'm not paying 60 more dollars to get JBX3 not happening Just, again, my personal... Do I not have my headlights on? Okay, really, I was making sure I didn't have my freaking headlights, asshole. That shit is so damn stupid. Anyway, graphics mods, JBX. Um, 
but case in point, this weather 2K, right? Damn nice addition to the game and it's free. And honestly makes me wonder what the hell JBX does if he's charging, I think it's 30 or $35 for JBX2. And JBX3 is like 90 some. So if you already have JBX2, you only have to pay like $60 more. Like, screw that, man. And if you love JBX, more power to you. That's fine. But, I mean, I, anyway. Again, feel free to fight me in the comments. You're more than likely gonna lose, but go ahead and try if you want to. Well, I went on a tangent there, didn't I? That just started with a mod update. <laughs> Taking this all the way to the PCH, right? And then I hang a left. Pretty sure that's what it was. In Longview. It may actually pop up saying we discovered Longview before I take that left, I don't know. I wanna, I should really pull this up, but I can't remember. But an individual commented on my one of my videos recently and said that uh, there's a free mod on Steam Workshop as well that's called More AI Power or something like that. That will... I went the wrong way on my gear selection there. I went to go that way. There we go. Anyway, as I was bitching about the, you know, the doubles going one mile an hour up a incline, there's a mod that's called More AI Power, I believe it was, that fixes that. The only problem is it does everything. And as I was reading and reading some of the comments, like, it'll make cars take off way faster than they should, and so I don't... I don't know. I haven't put that in yet. I may just continue bitching about the slow trucks. slowing down. Although... Nice blinker. to do when we unload. I need fuel and I need to sleep. I mean, we'll 
we'll make it there. There's like 167 miles according to SIM dashboard. And we have 518 gallons on board. Actually, let me show you that. Can I? Hold on, let me turn off head tracking. There we go. So when I turn my head and look at the keyboard. So now if you look at the dash where it says trip econ, 514 now, so. We have enough fuel to get there. I just need to remember to refuel. Good news is there's two fuel points in Coos Bay. Of course, I guess I could fuel before we even deliver since I have to drive right past that one. SCS puts like the base motors in these trucks too, so he's probably only got about 350 horsepower. than ever, huh? Probably over halfway at this point, and then I just realized, like, oh, I should probably turn my beacons on. show going, don't we?
should have known that this lane was going to end. Kind of kicking myself in the ass too for not sleeping before taking this load because this would have been a cool drive hack. Could you see? Why did that sign back there say Coos Bay 101 to the right? good enough and miss a intersection somewhere. spots, whatever the hell it is. Okay, but could we... Alright. We could if you would have shifted into the right gear. Well, we're good. Ooh, a tunnel. Why didn't that echo like most of them do? I really want to speed up, but I feel like every time I do, then a sharp-ass curb comes up.
35. Does that mean we're coming into Coos Bay? No, just 35 miles an hour for this bridge. I would have popped out and looked, but it wouldn't have mattered because the camera would have considered this bridge a collision and it would have not given the view I wanted anyway, so. Oh, look at that moon. All right, let's get in here before we run into something. Welcome to Coos Bay. Happy to be here. Even happier that we made it before that train. Okay, so this is the first one-way section that was on the map. an hour through a city? What the, who the hell has that anymore? Apparently Coos Bay. Okay, so at this point I'm really looking for, there's going to be a fuel point on the right. And there's supposed to be a service point too. I thought there was... We may have already passed that one though. This is kind of another bitch I have about this game. Like, I'm going to have to back up now. But this is not a truck stop. Okay? And as, unless you're a local guy in a dump truck or have a small trailer, you're not pulling in here to fuel. You know what I mean? I guess I can't figure it out. Thanks, camera. Stupid collision bullshit. I wish somebody could make a mod, or maybe there is one out there that removes the collision shit. Like, what's the point of having a camera if you can't put it where you want it? If that makes sense. 
And yeah, some of you may be like, wow, he bitches about the dumbest shit. Yeah, I probably do for you. See, like, I barely... I, I didn't want that. Okay, now that I'm moving back, now it zooms back out. That was the fuel cost. I didn't hit that pump. Oh, and we're on a hell of a... You know what? I'll just... Okay, turn the wheel the right damn way, Ty. We'll just do this. Seeing like how the camera's spinning like that, I'm not touching the camera. It's following because I'm turning my steering wheel. Alright, anyway. Now I have fuel. Need to make sure I undid my fuel ball. It's a good thing I did too, because it was still pushed in. I don't know what I haven't even counted, so what is that? Two, three? service point. Oh, no, it's not this. I know where we're at. I remember this curve, so we're going to be, should be our next right. to be an ADM prefab down there. Oh, a Leonard. We shouldn't be seeing the Leonard though, so I'm assuming there's a road that goes under. I mean, the ADM was by the Leonard's, but... Or no, maybe this is the one, and that's the second one down there. That's probably what it is. I mean, I did say it was across from the Walmart. Alright, so ADM should be down on the... Trying to remember the map. I know there was two separate Leonard locations over here. There's one over there to the left, and then there's this one. So where's the ADM? Right here? Yes. Really, SCS? Okay. <laughs> if we had a trailer with a Jeep and a Stinger having to make this tight ass European type prefab turn they love them some gates let me tell you alright I think we're good although I say that and then no we're good Well, speak of the devil. They don't have one going in, but going out. Still even going out, that'd be fun. And by fun, I mean not at all.
Okay, once again, I didn't time it right to get back under it. Alrighty. I really wish that would have been during the daytime. More importantly, folks, though, we made it. Only had one find because I was testing my headlights, but apparently there was a damn cop behind me, so that was good timing. Coos Bay, gone. One, oh, niner. Beautiful. I really want to check current company job offers, but I can't because I have to sleep. So I'm gonna have to do a 34 because if I do five in the morning, it's only gonna fast forward for an hour. That's fine, it's been a while since I've done a 34, so what we will do is we will set it for zero. Actually, how am I gonna do this? Well, 10 hours would be two in the morning, but then again, if I sleep and go zero five in the morning, it's only gonna fast forward three hours. Whatever, it's game mechanics, so. All right, so that's two in the morning, so then we come up here and go zero five, which it's only gonna fast forward three hours, but it's, we're technically, I wanna go till five in the next morning. All right, so now we have to hop in here. Yeah, see, it was Thursday, and, and now it's only Friday at 5 a.m. I wanted it to be Saturday at 5 a.m. to be technical about it. I mean, it is 5.01 now, so I could do it again, but whatever. We'll just leave it, and we'll see what's coming out of here. Pendleton, already been there. Dallas, already been there. Medford, have not been there. That's picking up over at the winter. Goose Bay to Salem have not been there. That is probably what we may take. Wow, okay, see, Salem is up there, but yet this location is Salem. Okay, is there anything to Newport? That's what I really need, right? That was Newport? Yeah, Newport. It's coming out of Leonard, but I really don't care. It's going to Newport, so that is more than likely what we're going to have to go pick up. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 73 comes to an end. If you made it this far... I appreciate you, and until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.